Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach or Zed with Build Box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tutorial today. I'm gonna show you how to make a game where you have multiple characters, where you can have like a character following behind like another character and stuff like that. It's super, super easy. And so I'm gonna jump to that in just a few seconds. But I got a couple more announcements right now because we have got a lot of stuff going on right now. We've got a new Discord. We've got a survey going. We got a game jam coming up. We got new price points. We got a whole bunch of stuff. And the newest thing that we've got going on right now is on Fridays from 4 to 5 p.m. we are going to be doing build box live training okay so it's kind of like dev night where I have uh, one hour of Q&A and stuff but this is just gonna be straight Q&A and it's just gonna be for one hour on Fridays I'm also gonna do tutorials that day as well but I'm gonna let myself be available to any newcomers anybody who has questions with build box that they need to answer you can ask me every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. and I'm probably only gonna be doing live about like two times a week or something like that probably just gonna do dev nights on Thursday Day and uh, bill box training on Friday nights okay because uh, I'm getting all, a lot of survey results in and it looks like you uh, some of you guys like the live but not everybody sold on it you guys would rather see some short tutorials so let's go ahead and do that all right so I'm gonna show you guys how to do two characters in one so over here um, I've got build box open and stuff and let me go ahead and just show you what the game is like looking like right now this is the jetpack preset here so I'm gonna go ahead and move this over so you can see and you can see you just got a little character who is flying with like jetpack style and uh, flying through the air and it's pretty sweet okay cool so let me show you how to make multiple characters now this is an easy one this is a fast one and uh, so basically all you do is you go over here to your character you can either select the character here or you can select the character over here in the top in like the layer hierarchy over here and all you do is you just press W A S or D on your keyboard and it's that simple so I'll just press W and then you got two characters it's like that easy and you can place the character anywhere you want you can place it above or behind or something like that I think the person who asked this question said if we could have he asked if we could have a character trailing behind your other character so I'm gonna just move this around real fast and I'm gonna have this character trailing behind the first character so let's go ahead and press play and check this out and see what this looks like now so there you go two characters easy peasy no problem at all and let's see what happens when one of the characters is defeated boom you can still play so it's set up so that um you can have uh two lives basically each character has their own life and so you have to both characters have to be defeated to get to the game over ui okay so there is one other way to set it up so that there's like two characters and stuff. Um, there's a way to use portals so that you can duplicate your characters. Okay, so this is pretty sweet too and it takes no time at all. So let me show you how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, this is a particle emitter. I'm looking for a portal, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in a portal here into the first scene. I'm gonna delete one of the old characters and I'll delete a couple of these enemies so that uh, they don't get in the way. All right, so I'm gonna do something like this, portal here, and then I'll throw in a particle emitter just above it so that we can see where to enter the portal. And then now I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter in two more portals that are going to make the character duplicate. And I'll go ahead and put some particle emitters on that bad boy, those bad boys too. Coolio, all right. Now let's check this out. Let's see what this looks like. All right. So we got the single character now, and then we go through the portals, and then we've got two characters, double the characters, and it's super, super easy. And once again, if one of the characters dies or is defeated, you have to have both characters be defeated so that you get to the game over UI, okay? So um, yeah, this is pretty, it's pretty simple stuff. So that's how you do two characters in Build Box, and it's, yeah, super easy. Um, you could probably get away with even like hooking up an object through um, connection mode as well. So you can mess around with that. I know uh, I've seen a couple boxers do that too, but the easiest way is to just duplicate it with W, A, S, or D on your keyboard. All right, cool. Well, I hope you like that uh, video tutorial. It was really short on this one. And I'm gonna leave a link to the survey down below. So if you wanna you know, give me your opinion, give me some feedback on what type of videos you wanna see, then click the link on the survey and that'll be great. I'd really appreciate it. And we got that game jam coming up. So we're asking you what theme you guys want for 
that game jam. So just let me know. All right, boxers, I'm going to head out. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Like and subscribe.